Hello all. Uh, today we will uh, cover different basic types in C sharp programming language. This is by Tip Top C sharp tutorial series. So what are the basic types uh, today we are going to cover? Uh, the first one will be array, then the second one we will take a look at uh, array list, and finally we will take a look at uh, generic list. So let's uh, take a brief look at each of these uh, uh, collections types one by one. The first one what we are going to explain here is array. As you see the sample code here, we declare an integer array like this with the square bracket syntax. And how do you initialize an array is with this given syntax of my first array equal to new int 5. With this statement, uh, we are trying to define an array with a fixed size or by specifying the size in the declaration itself. And there is another way to initialize an array uh, in declaration. Uh, that is uh, by giving the number of elements as specified in my second array. So we have uh, four arrays being specified here. And um, if you want to change one of the elements using indexer, uh, you can make use of the syntax my second array of uh, 2 equal to uh, 20. What does it do is uh, in the second index, it will assign the value to 20. Then you can print the result to see uh, the uh, assigned element. So let's uh, let's also discuss about the peculiarity and limitations of array. Uh, array will allocate uh, the elements in uh, contiguous blocks in memory, meaning that uh, consecutive locations in memory. And arrays are of fixed size. Once you add a set of arrays in C sharp, you will not be able to add more elements to it. So that being the limitation, uh, array is suitable for use cases where you have fixed uh, uh, sized data sets. So let's uh, move on to another collection uh, named array list. So what is the advantage of array list over array? And we will discuss uh, other limitations as well. So that's uh, this is the highlight of our series. We will be discussing both uh, uh, positives and negatives of given uh, data structure. So array list is dynamically resizable. Uh, meaning that it overcomes the limitation of an array. We can uh, add more elements or we can remove elements from a given uh, array list. Uh, and uh, coming to the storage allocation, uh, the array list will store all the elements as objects. So as you may already know, we have value types and reference types in C Sharp. Value types will hold uh, the native types such as uh, integers and uh, Boolean and other numeric variations and um, reference types are eventually objects only. But when you store these value types uh, in an array list, it will convert internally to object and store it. And if you want to retrieve the element, uh, the array list will perform a conversion while fetching, the, um, while fetching the element. In fact, we have to do the conversion as you see here. Uh, let's let's uh, go by step by step in this. First, we are declaring an array list, uh, my first array list equal to new array list. And then we are adding an element of uh, integer to it. And next, we are adding a string to it. So you need to notice the fact that we are adding multiple types of uh, elements to it. One integer, one string. So that is the advantage of array list, uh, that it will support multiple types and um, while retrieving the element, as we discussed earlier, uh, we need to convert the element back to the original type. So once, since we discussed the positive part of it, let's take a look at the negative part of it. What happens uh, if you convert the string that you added in line number three and convert it into a string, uh, convert it into an integer? So that will lead to a type cast or invalid cast exception. So uh, eventually we can say array list is though it is dynamic it's not type safe so how do we overcome this by using another data structure collection in c sharp which uh, microsoft introduced in dotnet 2.0 let's move on to that particular collection called generic list so generic list holds the advantages of array list and on top of that it adds uh, uh, multiple uh, positive points like uh, type safety and improved performance so you remember the concept of casting and 
I mean boxing and unboxing the contents of a realist while retrieving and adding uh, that does not happen here because uh, generic list is a template wherein it has it can have any type uh, at the time of uh, creation so as you see the code we are initializing an integer type here integer list so we have to supply the type while initializing that is mandatory you cannot have uh, uh, a blank type there you need to supply the integer or string wh whatever it may be so uh, let's uh, let's initialize integer list that's a list of int equal to my my first list equal to new list of integer then list of string we are initializing as uh, string collections by using this initialization syntax my second list equal to new list of string so now if you want to add a uh, uh, integer to my first list this is the syntax the syntax is not different from array list but uh, if you are trying to add a different types to a given uh, 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 list of peculiar type say integer list you will get a compiler time error for example my first list dot add you are trying to add an integer that is perfectly fine but if you are trying to add my first list dot add uh, some string or some other data type some other object then you will get a compiler time error because this is statically type safe okay and how do we uh, retrieve the value from a, a generic list it's a uh, fairly straightforward you just need to say that uh, uh, by using indexer into value one because of my first list of uh, zero or string value equal to my second list of zero that means in the space index based retrieval you don't need to perform any boxing or unboxing sort of conversion here so that's the advantages of generic list and if you ask us what is the downside of generic list we don't uh, we don't see any major downsides because this has been the de facto standard for collections in c sharp since 2.0 nowadays uh, if you ask a modern era programmer in c sharp he would know about uh, uh, array list okay with uh, all these three different collections being introduced we will move want to compare and contrast uh, list where we will see different uh, features or properties of these three collections uh, first one is a .NET version where uh, these collections were introduced first one is array that is introduced in .NET 1.0 and array list was introduced in 1.1 and generic list uh, or generic collections was introduced in .NET 2.0 it was a major uh, highlight of .NET 2.0 and uh, let's see some operations here adding different types of data as we saw in array it's not possible we can have only either an integer array or a string array or a float array but not a combination of four and in array list you have seen uh, behind the scenes everything is being converted into object and being stored so it's possible to store different kinds of array, array uh, different kinds of types to be stored in array list and in generic list also it's uh, type safe you cannot uh, Add different types of objects and uh, while uh, changing the size after initialization for array it's not possible whereas for array list it's possible and generic list it's possible and boxing and unboxing overhead for array it's not there because uh, we will we will be adding only single type of uh, elements to arrays so it will be stored as their original type there is no conversion but whereas array list uh, it's affected by the boxing and uh, unboxing overhead and even generics we don't have such a perform such a boxing and unboxing overhead because of the type safety property we discussed earlier and regarding performance uh, array is always good uh, because we have only a uh, single type of elements whereas array list is suffered from uh, boxing and unboxing overhead hence the performance uh, issues and general list is always the best because uh, it will combine both uh, addition as well as uh, 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 elimination of this boxing and unboxing overhead coming to complexity array doesn't have a lot of complexity involved in it it's just uh, initialization and uh, uh, feeding the elements at the time of initialization array list involves a lot of complex complexity behind the scenes of boxing and unboxing and uh, we have to understand different types of exceptions could occur if you supply invalid uh, types but generally it's medium uh, we don't need to uh, worry about the you know boxing and unboxing and other complications 
So general cluster is uh, having a lot of advantages over the two. And we will take a brief look at uh, different uh, uh, big O notations for uh, these basic collections. Uh, adding performance uh, for array, you have to add all the elements at the time of uh, initialization. So it's a uh, order of n. Whereas array list, uh, adding an element is always taking uh, uh, of one. So even if you add multiple elements, it will be taking a similar timeline. That is the reason we are uh, seeing it as O of one. Same holds true for even generic list. And searching performance, uh, it's always O of n, uh, irrespective of the array or array list or generic list because we have to traverse through each uh, each item one by one uh, in a enumerable fashion. So that's always O of n. And search by index, again, it is uh, uh, based on an indexer. We can directly index an item and retrieve it. So irrespective of the size of data set, it's always O of uh, 1. So that being the comparison and the contrast between these uh, different basic collections. And uh, we will wind up this uh, tutorial here. Uh, thank you for watching Tip Top uh, C Sharp Tutorials and have a nice day.